Welcome to Decoding Autism Now, your trusted source for science-backed insights into autism. I'm Dr. Elise Martin. In this episode, we are going to talk about tryptophan's other pathway known as the kinurinine pathway. Tryptophan is more than just a dietary amino acid. It's the biochemical crossroad between neurotransmitter health and neuroinflammation. Tryptophan is well known for making you tired after a turkey dinner. It produces serotonin and melatonin, critical for mood, cognition, and sleep. But only about 5 to 10% go down the pathway towards melatonin. Approximately 90% goes down the kinurinine pathway. Those on the autism spectrum often have low tryptophan because it is being rushed down pathways where it is being converted. In the presence of chronic inflammation, stress, or immune activation, especially in individuals with autism spectrum disorder, the body prioritizes how tryptophan is used. And that is generally to fight inflammation at the expense of supporting the brain. This shift is regulated by the enzyme IDO, indoleamine 2, 3 dioxygenase which is upregulated during inflammation and upregulates the kinurinine pathway. In the kinurinine pathway, tryptophan is metabolized into neuroactive compounds like quinolinic acid, an NMDA receptor agonist that promotes excitotoxicity and neuroinflammation. Quinolinic acid is useful in normal amounts, as it is a precursor in the NAD plus biosynthesis pathway and supports cellular metabolism and energy production. However, excessive quinolinic acid production due to chronic inflammation or immune activation can lead to neurotoxic effects, including excitotoxicity, neuroinflammation, and neurodegeneration, which negatively impact brain function and mood regulation. The kinurinine pathway might be stuck in a loop. It upregulates to fight inflammation, but when a byproduct of quinolinic is produced, it accumulates where too much actually causes more inflammation, and the loop is perpetuated. This imbalance may lead to lower serotonin, impaired mood, disrupted sleep, sensory sensitivities, and behaviors like stimming or hand flapping. So how can we modulate this pathway? Research suggests several strategies may help reduce excessive IDO activation and rebalance tryptophan metabolism. One, reduce systemic inflammation with supplements like resveratrol. Two, support healthy gut microbiota with probiotics like Saccharomyces boulardii. Three, ensure adequate levels of vitamin B6, B12, and folate. 4. Inhibit IDO with natural agents like curcumin and EGCG, also known as catechin, found in green tea. 5. Improve mitochondrial function and antioxidant status. 6. Normalize cortisol levels through stress reduction. Modulating the tryptophan pathway isn't just about altering mood, it's a gateway to managing inflammation, cognition, and neurological health. Now you have a better insight as to why tryptophan levels can be low in the ASD population. Also, you have a basic understanding of the kinurinine pathway which uses most of the tryptophan and why it can have devastating effects for those with ASD. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and share if you found it interesting. Sharing the knowledge helps everyone. Please support the channel by subscribing and so you don't miss upcoming episodes. Hoping to see you back here soon for more valuable insights about autism based on science.